Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I'm bringing you a quick video about the person you're going to marry. So these are general reads. It's for the collective. So obviously it's not going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read at all, that's cool. Um, if you want a personal read, there's a link in the description box. It'll take you to my personal page to get that information on how to do so. So give me some information about the person the collective is going to marry. So, or for whoever's watching this, whoever's watching this to get some parts or pieces of the message of who they're going to marry. Give me some indications of who this person is going to marry. Who are you going to marry? We have the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is a card about um, persisting, right? Persevering. This is a wounded warrior card. So I feel like the person that you're going to marry is going to be a wounded warrior. So they're definitely going to have some past experiences that might cause them to be a little garden. Um, I feel like that's normal. Um, unfortunately, you know, people, relationships don't work and we tend to get hurt in relationships when they don't work, right? <laughs> so people um, often become guarded. They've been wounded. Um, they might need to like to take a slow, take a slow um, go at this relationship with you. It might go slower than you want or it might just be that they need some reassurance. Um, we got the two of pentacles and the six of wands. So this person is currently, I believe, trying to get some balance in their life. I'm not sure how long ago this hurt was done, but this person is working on getting their life in balance. Sometimes they could be juggling things, um, you know, trying to get like work, work balance with life. Um, you know, that work-life balance that we all talk about but never seem to be able to, to master, uh, or most of us, a lot of us don't master. <laughs> um, I feel like they're trying to get themselves in balance to kind of come towards their person, which would be you, um, ready for a commitment. I do see them having like a very um, positive, successful energy about them. This is love conquers all or victorious in love. I do see them being willing to put in work to make things be a victory, like being um, someone who is going to um, not compete, but definitely put in the energy and the time to make sure this is a victorious situation. They want... Um, they want love and they want to be victorious and they, they're showing up with passionate. They're passionate about making this situation work with you. Oh, well, they might not be coming too slow. The Knight of Wands is an energy um, where someone is coming directly toward you, right? Um, they're rushing towards that motorcycle. They um, want, they're going to be a good communicator, uh, whether or not they're running towards you or not, right, at the moment. But they're going to be a good communicator. They are going to be, um, oh, I think, um, they're going to be giving you direct messages. You're going to know how this person feels about you. They're not going to mince their words. They might be guarded. They might be um, slower paced, but um, they're definitely going to be telling you how they feel about you. Uh, I think it might surprise them. Actually, they might want to rush towards you uh, because they feel like this is going to be a good connection. But uh, I think their nature to kind of protect themselves is going to trump that. Um, this person could have a great sense of humor as well be someone you really enjoy talking to. Give me some more information about the person you're going to marry. Well, that's pleasant. That's amazing. That's what you want right here, ladies and gentlemen, the Ten of Pentacles. This person is going to be loyal. This person is going to be stable, committed, looking for a loyal, loyal, a loyal, stable commitment. They want long-term, um, I say marriage, but you know, if you're not looking for a marriage, not everybody has to get married, right? Not everybody wants to get married, but if you're looking for a long-term, stable, committed relationship, that's what this is going to be. This person's going to be financially um, stable, emotionally stable, committed. It, this is like the happy, I just spit, sorry. This is just the happy ever after, right? This is the um, children, marriage, house, home, dog, yard like happily ever after blended families this is definitely a long-term commitment tell me more about this person that you're going to marry the world card so i do feel like something's um coming to a completion right um with a world card here so something's coming full term. So um, usually when the world card pops up, it signifies that there is a balance, right? Everything is kind of balanced out. Some kind of cycle has come to completion and then there's going to be a positive outcome. So perhaps this 
um, juggling or this being like protective. I'm just going to make these um, energy is coming to a completion and your person's going to be like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready to love. I'm ready to find someone. And maybe they will come rushing towards you a little bit because the, this, um, cycle of being unbalanced is coming to a completion. Give me a few more cards on this person that they're going to marry. The seven of wands, the eight of pentacles, the four of wands. All right. Oh, good Lord. And the sun on the bottom of the deck. Okay, guys. So this person, so they're definitely going to still remain guarded, right? Um, I feel like in this seven of wands energy, this is someone really kind of protecting their energy. But if you notice, there's this one wand, which I'll zoom back in, that's getting into her personal bubble there. So as much as they are going to be guarded and because they've been wounded, they're still going to let you in, right? Because we have a soulmate energy and a twin flame energy. You're their twin flame. We have the sun on the bottom of the deck, which is joy, positivity, optimism. This is the most positive card on the deck. This is one of the best cards you can get. Um, it's going to be an unexpected situation. It's going to be a higher level commitment. Um it's going to be probably someone either you don't expect or someone it's just going to come at a very unexpected time. But this is the overall energy for the for the cards in the tarot um, for this read. Positivity, joy, happiness, babies, children. Um, so, yes, as much as your person is going to remain guarded, they're still going to let you in. They're going to let you get in. You're the only one. Um, your person is a hard worker. And again, they're really willing to work hard at the situation. This is also a soulmate card for me. Um, after learning some information about the, the card's history, uh, this is someone who's willing to put in the work to make this relationship happen. They're willing to put in the hard work. They got what it takes long term, right? They're focused, they're hardworking, they're committed, they're loyal, and they're ready. And I don't think they were going to come unless they were ready, right? And they're showing up as your twin flame. If you don't know what a twin flame is, do some research. Um, but they're showing up as your twin flame. Stability, a house. You guys are going to live together. You're going to be together. Yeah. I think this is great energy, guys. And then, again, the, the um, sun on the bottom of the deck. We're going to get a little bit um, of information from the Sacred, Sacred Healing Journey card deck from Angelic Revelation 144. Just to kind of get some more info about this connection or the situation between the two of you or within one or two of you. Healing, energy healing. Yeah. The feminine. All right. All right. Uh, I guess I'll take those. Musical. Oh, well, breakthrough, penetrating walls. So I think, um, I think this will be uh, a situation in which... Um, someone will be penetrating walls. I feel like it's um, you're penetrating your person because they're going to be guarded. But um, so we have energy healing, right? So I think once that healing is completed, that's the world card. Um, the feminine. So this person is your divine counterpart, which we have with the twin flames there, soulmate energy. So this is um, someone who is nurturing, someone who is abundant, someone who is compassionate, empathetic, sympathetic. Um, this is the uh, empress in the tarot deck. And so the empress is so abundant. Like you give her something, she turns it in and multiplies it. So you give her a house, she makes a home. You give her some parts and pieces of you and she makes a baby or whatever. <laughs> However you want to word. I just don't want to say the words on on video. You know what I mean? She, she creates. She's a creator. She makes everything better. Um, perhaps you guys, uh, will speak to each other with music, love songs, musical messages, but there's wedding rings there. Um, or maybe that's an indication for some indication for someone and then secret love, protecting your connection, hiding it from the world. So maybe in the beginning, uh, you'll feel the need to kind of hide things. Um, but it will come out. And then the bottom of the deck was penetrating walls breakthrough. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is get a couple of, um, I have two decks I'm going to use from. Who, What, Where, Future Love Oracles by Lauren Rose DeLay, which has indications on who your person might be. We're going to get a couple of those. And then I'm going to get some real deal cards from Angelic Revelation 144 to give you information about your person. Remember, there's so many people watching, maybe, I, I hope, <laughs> um, that sometimes you might contradict. So just take what is um, what speaks to you, okay, guys?
I don't know how many people are really watching. They have dark hair, has dark hair. Wants to send you a message. Mm. This could be someone you know. It's a fire sun sign. So that's Leo, um, Aquarius, I'm sorry, Leo, <laughs> Aries, and Sagittarius. Grew up in a better than average household. Their first name begins with a vowel. And has been in your proximity at least once in the last six months. I'm going to get three more. Likes to use their middle name. Your first kiss will be in one year from now. Well, that's interesting because I'm going to also get um, a time oracle deck. We'll see if they line up. Oh, I guess we get two. Hums often and owns their own home. So there's some information about the person that you're going to marry. All right, let's get uh, a real deal card or two from Angelic Revelation 144. Sometimes these like drastically contradict each other. So we'll see what pops out. They are dishonest. To me, I feel like that might be they are dishonest about their feelings about you because I feel like they're going to try to protect themselves. They are cunning. Oh. Oh. They fucking run. They have self-confidence issues. They are a serial dater and they are a workaholic. Well, they're trying to get balance, guys, right? They're trying to get balance and maybe that was all the things they did previously. Um, and maybe that's why they're wounded, right? Because they have lived and dealt with people in a certain way because they have self-confidence issues. But I think when you come along, being this uh, twin flame feminine energy, it's going to be like something they, they've never experienced before. All right, we're going to get a few. Um, oh, no. First, I'm going to get a timeline. Um, I wasn't going to use this, but I'm going to. This is the Time Oracle deck from um, Fire Intuition. This might give us some indication of the time frame, even though this one card says the kiss will be within a year from now. So let's see if we can get any other specific information for when you're going to meet your person. Well, I'm going to take those three cards that just tried to come out. You have nothing to worry about. Patience is needed. <laughs> and then April. Wow, that's like next month. Within 10 days. Well, that would be a kiss within the year, right? Well, maybe, maybe. You don't necessarily just kiss somebody right away. If you're just taught, if, maybe if you're just friends, I mean, who knows? Whatever, whatever. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we're going to get a couple of Romance Angel Oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. This is what your Romance Angels want you to know or need you to know for this connection. Holy smokes, I feel like that's way too many. I'll just take them. I'll just take them and the information you get, you get. Retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. So as you can see in this card, this looks more like a honeymoon retreat. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So maybe there's some differences between the two of you. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so this one the healing family issues to me i feel like that could be so much more than forgiving your parents right could be a lot of different things um so take that one how it resonates with you um forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moments i feel like your person's learning that and playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to uh, uh fun to shine to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I think it's important to remember we have to be forgiving, right? We have to be forgiving. We have to heal. We have to let go of control issues. It's great to have playfulness in situations to lighten them up or to, to make them a little bit more fun. Uh, you may need to retreat and disconnect from the world potentially together, especially if this is a secret situation. That might be something you're doing um, because maybe some things like religious factors or family issues might be impacting you a little bit in this connection. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this read. Um, about the person you're going to marry. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in the personal, again, that information is linked in the description box below. It's
Yeah, it is. It's linked in the description box below. Sorry. Um, I appreciate all your support, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you have any content you're interested in, in hearing about, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.